diving into the essential skill of IV catheter placement in animals. Whether you're prepping for an exam or getting ready for clinical rotations, mastering this technique is a must. So let's get started. First things first, always make sure you've got your materials ready. You'll need an IV catheter, antiseptic solution, gauze, adhesive tape, and of course, your trusty gloves. Safety and cleanliness come first. Now let's talk about preparing your patient. The key here is to keep them calm and secure. For small animals like dogs and cats, having an assistant to hold them gently but firmly is super helpful. For larger animals, proper restraint is crucial. You don't want them moving around during the procedure. Next, choose your insertion site. For dogs and cats, the cephalic vein on the front leg is a common choice. For larger animals like horses, you might use the jugular vein. Palpate the vein and make sure you can feel a good, strong pulse. All right, step one, clean the area with your antiseptic solution. Use a circular motion moving outward from the center. This helps reduce the risk of infection. Now take your catheter. Hold it at a shallow angle about 15 degrees. Insert it smoothly into the vein until you see a flash of blood in the chamber. That's how you know you're in the right spot. Once you have blood return, advance the catheter a bit further. Then withdraw the needle while gently pushing the catheter in. It's important to keep the vein stabilized with your other hand. After the catheter is fully inserted, secure it with adhesive tape. Wrap it neatly but firmly to keep it in place. You don't want it to move around. Finally, flush the catheter with saline to ensure it's patent and functioning properly. Check for any signs of swelling or leakage. And there you have it. It is in veterinary practice. Palpate every vein to develop familiarity and to tell the differences between veins. Visualize the vein's path in your mind eye following palpation. This will guide you in how to direct the catheter. If your first attempt was unsuccessful, you can make a second attempt more proximally, but not more distally. Using the alcohol wipe after the assistant raises the vein can make it more visible. You can place your non-dominant hand under the dog's leg using your thumb to stabilize the vein. Pulling the skin taut also helps prevent the vein from moving around. Enter the skin first, then lower the angle before entering the vein. This lessens the risk of passing straight through and blowing the vein. Once you've entered the vein, don't pull the catheter back out or the vein will blow. So keep refining your technique and soon you'll be placing IV catheters like a pro. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more vet tips and tricks. See you next time. Remember, the more you practice, the more confident you'll become.